Ukrainian army starts using glide bombs at the front. Russians are scared. The Russians already recognize the danger from Ukrainian-made adjustable aerial bombs. They believe that the Ukrainian armed forces will use new ammunition with Western fighters and they will be corrected by displaying images of targets on satellites by the Allies. Ukraine can come up with wings. Missiles launched from fighters are quite expensive, so there is a need for a more budget-friendly solution. Our pilots and air defence specialists will have more work, say propagandists, quoted by Focus Media Outlet. As noted, we are talking about improving Soviet aerial bombs remaining in the reserves of the Ukrainian armed forces. According to Defence Express Director Sergei Zguts, projects to install correction modules on them were offered to the Air Force 10 years ago and Russia brought to the front what Ukraine had missed at one time. According to the analyst, the use of Ukrainian cab would be more effective in the initial phase of a full-scale war. Now such a confrontation is complicated. The invaders have acquired air defense and electronic warfare systems that are capable of repelling an attack and reducing the effectiveness of the use of such shells. Zguretz believes that the best option for the Ukrainian armed forces in terms of accuracy and effectiveness of destruction may be the American JADM smart bombs and the French AASM hammer weighing 250 and 1000 kilograms. They are more resistant to Russian electronic warfare than the national achievements of the military industrial complex. We must also take into account that the Russians drop their bombs from a height of 10 kilometers and they fly at a distance of up to 50 kilometers. If dropped from a height of 12 kilometers, the range of hitting targets increases to 60 kilometers. However, the Ukrainian armed forces will not fly aircraft to such a height. French and American bombs are launched at much lower altitudes to avoid Russian radar coverage. The expert added that the range of Ukrainian ammunition may be limited to 30 kilometers. Zguretz says modified Soviet bombs will not become the main way to increase the firepower of defense force fighters. However, with their help, it is possible to attack enemy positions as an addition in conditions of suppression of Russian air defense systems and aviation. Russia may arm Houthis with high-precision missiles, threat to US and Europe in Red Sea increases. Russia could transfer long-range missiles to several of its allies, according to a new map produced by Russian state media, after NATO countries donated long-range missiles to Kyiv and authorized some Ukrainian strikes within Russian territory, according to Newsweek. Moscow could start supplying the same high-precision long-range missiles, except They'll be of better quality since they're Russian. To those nations that are ready to strike our enemies, Russian state media host Olga Skabayeva said in remarks translated by the Russian Media Monitor Project run by journalist Julia Davis. Late last month, President Joe Biden greenlit Ukrainian strikes on Russian soil with some US-donated weapons to help Kiev fend off Moscow's weeks-long offensive in the northeastern Kharkiv region. Several leading NATO nations, including France and Germany, had signaled their permission for Ukraine to use weapons they provide to strike some targets inside Russia. Russia had vocally condemned the move, calling it an escalation of the conflict. Highlighting several countries on a map, Skabayeva suggested Moscow could send missiles to Houthi rebels in Yemen and weapons to several other nations. We are thinking about where our missiles could go, into which friendly jurisdictions, said state media host Evgeny Popov. Earlier this month, Russian President Vladimir Putin said the Kremlin would consider sending Russian-made weapons to other countries in retaliation for the Western nation's move. If they consider it possible to deliver such weapons to the combat zone to launch strikes on our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same type to some regions of the world where they can be used to launch strikes on sensitive facilities of the countries that do it to Russia? Putin said during the country's annual St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Now let the US and its allies feel the direct impact of the use of Russian weapons by third parties. Former Russian president and current deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev then said, This could be anyone who considers Yankee land as their enemy regardless of their political beliefs or international recognition. He added,